Let's get to those uh, medical headlines that we're following. First off, a government study on rats has found a link between cell phones and cancer. Dr. Mark Siegel is here. How strong is this link? How much do you face do you put in this study? National Toxicology Program, it's the NIH. It was over several years. It's a lot of money put into this, 2,500 rats, nine hours a day. And they showed an increased risk of a certain kind of brain cancer, but it's a very weak link, and we're talking rats here. Now, I'm going to tell rats, wear this. Well, you, but seriously, seriously, way too prelim preliminary for me to be worried about it for humans. Nine okay. hours a day. I say we've got to look more and more into that. Okay. The more important story, I think, is this deadly superbug, which apparently has arrived in America. It's resistant to all forms of antibiotics, including the antibiotic of last resort. Now, that's serious. Very serious, especially since that antibiotic of last resort is something that countries around the world are feeding to their animals, Stuart. And this is the big headline here, that animals get fed low amounts of antibiotics to promote growth and to prevent them from getting infected. And it backfires because a very common bacteria called E. coli starts to mutate and change in the intestine of animals. And the next thing you know, it gets into humans. And the kind of resistance we're talking about here is it's almost like somebody playing cards at a casino because you get a card and it has one resistance and you get another card. In other words, this resistance can be transferred from one bacteria to another. That's what's scaring us. Okay. This resistance could end up on a bacteria that's already resistant. And that we just put up on the screen cholistin. That's the biotic of last resort. We've been saving, it doesn't work. We've been doesn't saving work. that antibiotic. We've had it a long time. We've been saving it and, and now we're finding resistance to it developing. Oh, wow. I'm very, very concerned about this. Okay, so because the, the whole organism could mutate even further. It's already very hard to treat. And it's already a very common bacteria. It's found in urinary infections. It's found in, in gastrointestinal infections. But now we already have resistance problems with it. And, and the other big headline here is we don't make enough antibiotics anymore. You know why? Okay, okay. Drug lawsuits. companies don't, well, not just lawsuits. Drug companies don't make enough money on them. There's not a lot of profit mm -hmm. involved with antibiotics because you only need it when you're sick. Okay, it's well, not a, uh, this, this latest bug, the super bug, if you got it, does it kill you? In the case of the woman in Pennsylvania who got it, no, because it was only resistant to this particular antibiotic, they were able to use different ones, okay? okay? But if it ever connects with another type of resistance that we really worry about, you're going to have an untreatable bacteria. We're very close to having an untreatable bacteria. Very scary. Yes, it is. Doctor, thank you very much. Good indeed. to see you. All right.